from selling a kilogram of fish between 10,000 to 12,000 Uganda shillings to helplessly watch the prices go down to less than 8,000. This is what exactly fishermen at Kagwara landing site in the Serere district of eastern Uganda have been experiencing for the last six months. And we used to sell at 12, 13, 10, yeah. but now it has dropped to 7. Absence of fish preservation facilities makes the situation worse. Having witnessed established amenities remain non-functional and some destroyed. It is a situation that local leaders of fishing communities here describe as unfortunate. But since that facility was put, we have not realized cause of shadow and substandard kind of work. It is a state of affairs in whose anguish State Minister for Fisheries Helen Adoa shares. It was uh, over 1.5 billion used, but today when you see the facility, you, you, you get disgusted. Such encounters could deny fishermen progress, as so far achieved according to testimonies from Sam. These are some of the achievements that leaders in the fisheries sector want to see consolidated for Uganda's economic growth. Fisheries is one docket that is throughout the year. Whether it is raining, whether it is a dry season, the lake is there. And we don't feed the fish in the lake. But every morning, every, every night, we go and collect this, catch this fish. There has to be some responsibility on the part of the exporters as well. They cannot just go into the market to penetrate into certain markets by undercutting the price in the international market reduce the selling price to an extent where once the importer gets a chance of reducing prices, they will continuously go on reducing the prices. It is a sector, they say, could change Uganda's economic fortunes in terms of foreign exchange earnings. The more reason why they want illegalities on the lakes expeditiously dealt with. This natural resource which the Mother Earth has given us, we should be proud of it, but we should also be very careful about sustaining this natural resource. When you see the Fisheries Protection Unit coming to you because you are illegally fishing, it is better you face the law than killing yourself by jumping in the water. These appeals come just a few weeks since Uganda commemorated World Fisheries Day with a call on government to prioritize support to the fisheries sector. Henry Okrut, UBC.